Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, again, uh, I'm uh, Nathan Ruger. I'm a 2002 Viewpoint alum, and I'm here to talk to you about the transformative power of movies. I will never forget the first movie that changed my life. It was a uh, family night. Uh, my dad made popcorn. My mom turned down the lights, and we all sat down on the TV in front of our TV. And uh, I remember the music blasting out at us, seeing these words crawl over this outer space, and this spaceship coming over heads, lasers going everywhere. And that movie was Star Wars. And the reason that movie made such a big impact on me, other than the fact that Star Wars is clearly awesome, <laughs> is uh, that, magic, that moment when uh, I noticed our whole family sitting on the edge of our couch in the dark, leaning into this story shining on a screen. That moment was magical, and I wanted to be able to reach out and take that magic for myself. So I made, uh, made it a habit to see as many movies as I possibly could, uh, whether it was old or new or uh, in, uh, in English or a foreign film or color or black and white. So long as it was good, I was watching it. And as I started to see patterns in the really great movies, uh, I was actually uh, here at Viewpoint, ninth grade, in English, reading Joseph Campbell. And uh, Joseph Campbell was an American professor and writer, and he wrote a book called The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Uh, and uh, in that book, he talked about the monomyth, which is this theory that every myth, every myth in the history of humankind uh, has the same story, the same archetype, the same heroes and villains and uh, the same story structures. And the kicker, what really got me invested, was that George Lucas read Joseph Campbell, and he used this idea of the monomyth to write Star Wars. And at that point, when I found that movies and myths had the same DNA, I had no excuse, and I set out to make movies. And that passion for filmmaking took me to Dartmouth College, took me to USC Film School, and uh, took me to film festivals across the country. But I didn't really get my hands on that magic until June 2011, which was the worst month of my life. In uh, the span of those 30 days, my car broke down, my, uh, I lost my job, and my wife was diagnosed with cancer. Today, my car is much better, I have a much better job, and I am happy to say that my wife has made a full and complete recovery. But back then, uh, it was a very scary time, and I didn't know if my wife was going to live or die. And I remember telling my, asking my wife on that day, what do you want to do right now? And she, her answer to me was, let's go to dinner and a movie. And uh, it wasn't until, until that night that I noticed for uh, the first time that magic, what that magic really was. And when we found our seats and the lights came down and the screen lit up, I noticed for the first time the entire audience opened up all of their wounds. When we go to the movies, we don't just go to see an entertaining show. We go to see our lives play out on the screen. All of our most secret fears and desires, all of our most intimate thoughts about love, family, life, death, our innermost emotional lives get sucked into the movie, whether we like it or not. And we can't help but laugh and cry with the characters on the screen as if it were happening to ourselves the exact same way that the very first storytellers told myths to the very first uh, men and women. And with that, I bring to you the very best part, that right now in the history of film is the very best time to make movies. When films were first made by Thomas Edison, uh, he had, the film camera at that time was this huge, unwieldy, unmovable camera that actually needed a special house to be able to soak up all the light from the sky to just shoot a few minutes of film without any sound. Today, we have cameras like this that can shoot hours of high-quality sound sync footage and be able to take that, put it on a, a thumb drive, put it into your laptop, edit it together, and put it out on the internet, on YouTube, and share it with hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of people across the world. So I came to you here today to let you know that the tools and resources for making films have never been more accessible, and there are now no more excuses to get out there and tell your stories. So if you have a story to tell, pick up a camera, get out there and tell your story because your audience is sitting out there in the dark, waiting with open hearts and open minds, ready to hear your story. Thank you very much.